Uh, welcome back guys to 2018's final episode of Wittens and this month I'm going to be doing a New Year's giveaway so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out about that but first let's roll the intro. Before we jump into today's video I want to thank BenQ for the new lighting setup this is the screen bar plus e-reading lamp. It's pretty cool, it sits on top of the monitor and it manages not to cause any glare on the screen. And it also comes with this little desk puck which allows you to turn the device on but it also allows you to change the brightness of the light as well as the temperature which is pretty cool because when I'm editing my images on my PC I always like to have bulbs which are daylight temperature rather than sort of warm tungsten bulbs that way you might get like a warm cast on your screen and then when you look at your image the next day in the daylight the colors might look a little bit different so pretty cool I like to use daylight temperature bulbs but 120 pound is a little bit much if you ask me Anyway, on to the December night sky. So this month when you're facing north, you'll find Ursa Major, or some like to call it the plough, swinging from the northern horizon up into the northeastern skies. If you face west after sunset, you'll also find the Cygnus region of the Milky Way, which is one of my favorite regions of the Milky Way. Like, who said Milky Way season was over? And if you face south this month, you'll see Pleiades, the open star cluster. And even though it's a bit of a deep space object, it's still very prominent in wide angle astrophotography. So it's always nice to feature in your wide angle images. And of course, as it's winter, Orion is absolutely dominating the night sky. It rises in the southeast after sunset. It will cross the southern skies and begin to set in the southwest just before sunrise. It was also the target of last month's Witten's Challenge. I'll be going through those images at the end of the video. But if you're looking for some inspiration this month, I advise going after something called the Winter Circle. Now, the Winter Circle is not a constellation. Uh, it's an asterism which is made up of bright stars from various constellations. I took this image from Seceda in the Dolomites. It's an image that was in uh, my third vlog from the Dolomites, which I'll link up above so you can check that out and I also photographed the winter circle last year uh, from the Brecon Beacons and again I'll link that vlog up above because that has a bit more info about the winter circle in it but it's a very big area of the night sky so even with like a 14 millimeter lens and a full frame uh, you're probably going to need to shoot a panorama to sort of squeeze it all in but it's a good time of the year to photograph it because it becomes available in the sort of late evening skies. So they are the stars and constellations available to you. Let's jump into Stellarium and have a look at the planets this month. Okay, so if we look in the direction of sunset this month, which is pretty much southwest, we should see Saturn appear in the evening twilight skies. Quite difficult to capture this month because it's very low on the horizon just after sunset, but just so you know it's there and as we fast forward into night you see Mars there in the southern skies and it's right next to Neptune now I'm not much of a deep space photographer but that looks like a fantastic uh, photographic opportunity to me if we look into the southeast you can see Taurus there Aldebaran shining brightly Capella from Auriga um, Orion of course rising into the east dominating the winter skies we've got Castor and Pollux the heads of the twins of Gemini Procyon from Canis Minor Canis Minor sorry Procyon from Canis Minor and Sirius from Canis Major Sirius of course the brightest star in the night sky uh, and that there is your winter circle in the southeast and that is about half past eleven so yeah definitely worth capturing this area of the night sky you've got a bit of the milky way as well running through here but this is a really jewel encrusted area of the winter night sky definitely something you should focus on this month and then if we scrub through time get a bit closer to sunrise uh, in the southeast you can see venus rising there now venus is shining at a magnitude of minus 4.9 
which is very similar to a crescent moon and is even bright enough to cast a faint shadow in dark places. Um, it's something I probably should have mentioned last month because it began to get bright at the end of November. Um, it was brought up in the comments by Norway Tracking, uh, so thanks for bringing that up. I'm sorry I forgot to mention it in last month's video. But Venus uh, will spend this month shining at minus 4.9, and it does dim by the end of the month to minus 4.6, which is still <laughs> incredibly bright. So if you get up early the one morning in December, and you got clear skies, make sure to take a look east because Venus is shining incredibly bright. Now, as far as conjunctions go, on the 3rd and the 4th is a good opportunity to capture the Moon alongside uh, Venus and Spica, probably the best sort of conjunction this month. And on the 6th, Jupiter and the Moon will be about 3.5 degrees apart. Uh, but that will be quite difficult to capture because it's one day before the new moon, so it's a very thin moon, and it will be sort of just before sunrise, so it might be very difficult to um, pick out and capture. And then on the 9th, Saturn and the moon will be 1.1 degrees away. Now, this is the shot I took last month when a crescent moon and Saturn uh, went to another conjunction and using the Sigma 150 to 600 mil lens on my full frame Sony, I was able to capture them both in a single frame and even see detail in Saturn's rings. So there's another opportunity this month on the 9th to take such an image. So good luck and clear skies. Now the highlight of December is of course the Geminids meteor shower. It runs from the 4th to about the 16th but the peak is on the 13th to the 14th, give or take. Uh, some years see rates of up to 100 meteors per hour. Uh, this year, there'll be a first quarter moon, so that will set at around 9 to 10 p.m. local time, and then you've got a nice long night ahead of you uh, full of geminid meteors. They're normally quite slow, uh, and some of them you might see sort of fragment and break up in the night sky. Um, so really, really good one to watch. I will be in La Palma again. I'm going back to my heaven on earth. So make sure to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss that vlog and follow me on Instagram as well. If you want to see the live uh, adventures and, and see what I'm getting up to there. There is also the Ursid meteor shower, but sadly the peak this year is on the night of the full moon. So we'll just forget about that this year. <laughs> On to the hashtag Wittens. I asked you guys last month to photograph Orion and so <laughs> many good entries. Uh, I was only going to show my top three, but I couldn't pick a top three. So I'm going to do three honourable mentions. The first two, Bound for Mountain, for this image of Orion above Table Mountain. But um, go and have a read of the story as well. It's a real nerve wracking story involving some wolves. Uh, so I thought I'd give that one a shout out. Also this one from JCS Captures showing some stunning colour detail in Hydrogen Alpha Emission Nebula of Barnard's Loop and uh, all of the other lovely stuff within the Orion Complex. And also this image from Bart Thomas of the Orion Nebula itself. Really nicely done. And then onto the top three. So number three is this stunning image from the Dolomites by Kieran Fallows. Um, just lovely, tranquil image. Love the snowy landscape and Orion line in the sky nicely there. Number two was this behind the scenes capture by Zenderfall and I just love, uh, you've got the astrophotographer there, the hunter, being watched over by Orion the hunter and it just really puts you into the scene. I'd love to see what he's seeing on the back of his screen and what he was going after that night. Um, I really love this image. But my favourite image this month comes from Lee, aka Milky Way Catcher, and you've just got stunning detail in Orion there, and I love how the, the curve in this road in the foreground sort of complements the curve in Barnard's loop up in the sky, and all in all, just a stunning image, I really, really love this one. This month, as I mentioned guys, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, the topic this month, I'm just going to leave it open, just your best astro image of 2018. Yeah, that's a good idea. Share your best image from 2018. Um, use the hashtag Wittens and tag Alan Wallace in the description of the image. 
uh, and mention the giveaway. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away three prizes to my favourite three images. Um, whoever comes first will get to choose which prize they want. Whoever comes second will get to choose out of the remaining two prizes. And whoever comes third gets what's left. And the three prizes are going to be uh, an 18 by 12 print of one of my images of your choice, any image you like. Um, the other prize is going to be one of my Wales 2019 calendars. Um, I still have some stock left. I've gone through all the pre-orders, but there is limited stock left. So if you do want to get one of these, they make great stocking fillers. <laughs> Um, get on my website soon and avoid disappointment because as soon as stock is gone um, I'm not going to be restocking or doing another print run and the third and final prize will be this giant canvas I don't know if you can even see that I'm gonna let's go a little bit wide <laughs> will be this canvas here uh, it's been on my wall for a while now but it's time for a change so so I'd give it away. So that will be the third and final prize. So use the hashtag Wittens. Make sure to tag me in the description on your post and mention the giveaway. And then my favorite three will get the prizes at the end of the month. And that's about it for this month, guys. Good luck to everyone entering. Thank you everyone for using the Wittens hashtag. We're over 2000 posts now. There's some seriously good stuff in there. I really wish I could have shown some more, but do go in there and have a little dig about. And if you're going to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.